right, we're here to um, just share our testimony on what God's been doing so far in our crazy, crazy faith, radical move, um, this journey that we're on. So I'll let you start it off and then I, I'll just chime in. Okay, so for y'all that have seen the first video of us moving, y'all kind of know what's going on. But if you are new, um, good, because I'm going to fill the people that I already watched the video in and I'm going to fill you guys in too. So God called us to Dallas, Texas to texas um the fort worth area dfw we area it. and um we moved on crazy faith we moved out of obedience number one thing is obedience um sold everything just came with our clothes left our um oldest kids we just have our baby girl um going to go back and get the kids soon i know but um yeah crazy faith i'm talking about just the update from the last video we kind of left this out we came up here um we didn't have no money the day before we left we didn't have no money negatives zero dollars my bank account was in the negatives but this honest. how much we know god called it and told us to come here we knew that the money was gonna come before we got on the highway and when i say in 30 minutes literally 30 minutes god used three wonderful people in our lives mm -hmm. and we had nine hundred dollars in our possession the right night away. before um so that's just that's just showing miracle signs and wonders what god does that's he's god um and some people may think we're crazy like moving no jobs no money no nothing but when god calls you to something to do whatever he guides he's going to provide do you hear me provide so, yeah, we, um... and as you can see i got a bad job Oh, because I work for the airport. We, too. At her, we at her job right now. I'm about to go. So, in. yeah, we left. Uh, <laughs> no money, no, no jobs, no, no anything lined up. Just crazy faith. Yep. Um, we are. We've been in Texas for a week now. Um, she has a job. Um, like she said, we got blessed with about nine hundred dollars just leaving. And we was going to go with nothing. When we, when we got here, um, we seen different places. Well, guys. we wasn't going to go with nothing. We knew God was going to provide. Okay. <laughs> so, we gotta be ourselves. Y'all want us to be ourselves? Yeah. Okay. Um, we were going to go with nothing, knowing that, expecting that God was gonna provide, and uh, He did. He showed out in a major way. We've been seeing places. We've been meeting people. He's been talking. Um, but yeah, we've been here within a week, and before our money would even run out, He blessed us with more. People been cash apping us. Um, the birthday boy. His birthday was twenty yeah, ninth. Birthday was two days and ago. He got some money. So people been people just been blessing us, uh, glory to God, and then um, yeah, yeah. So we went <laughs> yesterday. We went to TD Jakes Church, right? Uh huh. And you know TD Jakes, that's everybody. Everybody knows Sarah Jakes. Everybody knows TD Jakes. We go in there, not saying that's gonna be our um, church home or nothing, but after we was there, um, prior to that, the night before, he already mm. knew that he got invited to hang out with other. Uh, his friends and that we were maybe going to another church as well but anyway we go to td jake's church and i get freed from myself you hear me amen everybody be talking about the enemy the devil doing this sometimes it's you and it's been me but i got free from myself god said go to td jake's church uh link up with your bro in christ go to his church that he's inviting you to and he said i got something for you he told him he had something for him i said god said he got something for me and i'm telling you like when we, we gotta say, go when we say god said we literally mean god said we're not sitting here going off of feelings and emotions or nothing no our father whispers in our ear in our consciousness mm -hmm. and tells us and directs us to what to do but td jake church i'm free for myself hallelujah thank you god like seriously thank you jesus and then we go to his friend's church yeah and we was late like it was only like 20 minutes left for service and they were talking about they were talking about politics they weren't even preaching but then he got, preached at the end they got the praying moving like we move mm -hmm. you know as soon as i heard his wife pray i'm worship. like ooh, worship that's somehow what i say that's what i do and God whispered in my ear in that moment and said, I'm planting y'all here. Amen. And at first I was just like, hold up, Lord. I thought we was going to TDJ's church, though. <laughs> but 
<laughs> he said, "I'm planting y'all here." I shoot my, I shoot my friend a text asking where he was. He told us at the at the front right of the church. So at the end of service, uh, they they asked if anyone wanted to come down for prayer. Mm -hmm. So that's God nudging at our heart. We go down to get prayer. We for pray. our place. We yeah. want we want to specifically live where God want us to live. Yeah. So we we go receive prayer. It was powerful. Um, and then as we we started to walk the opposite direction. And then I, I, we turned around. I'm like, let's go this way. So I'm walking this way to, to meet my friend that invited me to church. And we bump into the pastor of the church. And, and he um, prays for us. Yeah. He, he just, he just, he just, it was just divine. He just turned around. We had a, we had a powerful prayer. It, he interceded on our behalf. We, we, we had a short conversation. Yes. And um, then we walked away. Then we walked away. And somebody tapped us and said, Hi, um, our what's your address? Our pastor wants to send you a check. He wants to give you a check. The man don't know us from nowhere. Nowhere, do you hear from me? Adam it was Eve. just an ordained appointment from Amen. God. Glory and he to already God. told my husband, do this, do that. I got something for you. He said, I got something for you. So, yeah. So, today we sit here with a check. And we all don't really need to see the amount. Just know oh that we have goodness. a check. But we can tell y'all the amount. We oh don't even goodness. want to say the name of the church and all that because we're not doing this to mm -hmm. brag for one. We're not doing this to throw nothing in nobody's face. We're just trying to give God the glory for our story. Amen. This is a thousand dollar check for just being in the place where God told you to go. Glory to God. Where he orders your steps, where you go. That saying for real, where God guides you, he's going to provide. Where he guides, he provides. Amen. This is just a praise report. This is just a praise report. We just wanted to if I can uh, shout, I <laughs> we just wanted to tune in, let y'all know what's going on. <laughs> God is God is moving. God is great. God is exalted. Yes. We, we bless you, Father. Thank uh, you, we Jesus. thank you uh, to the pastor in the in the church family in the community that embraced us and that sold into our life. Uh, we're gonna keep you updated on this journey. Yes. Uh, we posted our first vlog a couple days ago. We're gonna post this on the YouTube channel, and like we said, it's gonna get greater because God God is great and um. Man, God is real. So and thank you. Him. You you know who you are. Everybody that has been sowing into us and that has been believing. Cause I mean, we done had our people. You know, they y'all crazy. Okay, we gonna be crazy for the Lord. We gonna go and we gonna be crazy for the Lord. Amen. And when I say everything hasn't been perfect, like I I done had homesickness already. Like I miss my kids. Mm -hmm. I done had my moments. Like that's gonna come. But I know God called me to Texas. Yeah. I know he called us to Texas. And since we've been here, we ain't lacked nothing. We done At had all. a roof over our head. We ate good. We've been eating great <laughs> on our sisters and brothers in Christ. Like, we really ain't even paid for nothing. Really nothing. Just gas and stuff to get here. Oh, really, really quickly. And on our way here, I'm blaming this on the enemy because it was been is the enemy. <laughs> we start having car trouble brake mm -hmm. trouble car shaking and everything we was about six hours out and me i i, I tend my flesh tend to try to worry but then i had to remind myself hold up god you in control what's going on he told me we was gonna make it mm -hmm. to texas Praise and when god. i tell you with brakes and the car shaking and everything it's actually stopped shaking a little bit mm -hmm. we made it to texas do you hear me so we are it's out something in, in this state that god is about to do all the way from Illinois, and we are here to war. We are here to intercede. We are here to take back territory. Take territory this back. is just the beginning. We are trusting the process. Jesus we man. are living out crazy faith, and I want to encourage. Uh, just want to encourage any and everyone that's hearing and under the sound of our voice right now yes. to step out on crazy faith. Put all your trust in God, and um, let Him be let Him be the lamp to your to your path. And um, man, seek. First, the kingdom and everything else shall be added unto you. Uh, this is a living testimony. T yes. Testimony. This is our testament. And uh, man, peace. We love y'all. We love y'all. Stay encouraged. And I'm telling you, I don't care if you don't have a plan B, C, D, all the way to Z. Mm. If you got a plan G, God, <laughs> go with that plan and everything else shall follow. For sure. God bless.